First I'll start off with a mix of blue for the sky. I'm using a mix of uh, royal blue and cobalt blue for this. And I'll add a bit of alizarin towards the horizon just to warm up the sky a bit. Because I have already sprayed some water on the paper, the wash is uh, flowing smoothly. Now I'll mix a bit of uh, darker blue. Uh, I'll use a bit of neutral tint and cobalt blue into the same mix that I had before. And I'll also add a bit of cobalt teal blue just to add a bit of green into the mix. I try my best to leave a few white spaces behind. It doesn't always work, but uh, it's good to have a few that will help us to put in the boards later. I'll add a hint of green into the blue. I have used cobalt teal blue and a bit of burnt sienna for this. Um, This particular wash needs to be as light as possible. So I'm using a lot of water and I'm not filling in all the areas as well. Just trying to leave a few white spaces behind. Part of the tree there is uh, catching a bit of light and the rest is in the shade. And I'll mix the darker green for the shade. It's almost uh, black. So. And I'll try to cut around that uh, car that is parked there. It's a bit of a nuisance. I thought of leaving that car out of the painting but uh, then I realized that uh, it is sitting in between two dark shapes that 
the dark green and also the shadow that I'll be painting later. So I thought uh, the car would like kind of break these dark shapes and create a bit of a contrast in between. The green that I add to the background needs to be cooler in color temperature and a bit paler in tone compared to the green that I have painted in the foreground. The roof and the shaded areas of the tree are the darkest shapes in this particular painting. And when I paint the shadows next, I need to be aware that the shadows are slightly lighter in tone compared to the roof. So it's time to mix the colors for the shadow. Um, I'll mix a bit of purple. And I'll let the purple and a bit of warm colors run into each other to form the shadow. I feel that the shadow is the most important part of this painting. It needs to look good uh, for this painting to work. The shadow is still wet. Uh, I need to darken a few areas of the shadow. Um, now you can see that uh, the shadow is one shape, but within that shape I have darkened the ground so that the structure of the building is also visible. So sometimes what happens is when I try to do this, uh, 
it becomes too dark and then it starts to read as two different shape instead of like one big shadow so we need to be very careful that uh, that doesn't happen The red draws a lot of attention, so I'm like carefully placing them in various parts of the painting. I don't want the red to kind of take the attention away from the focal area. The gate and the fence are like very very tricky because they are at an awkward uh, place and if they draw too much attention they will like kind of spoil the whole composition. So I had an option of either completely not painting them, leaving them out of the painting or like putting them in in a way that it's like almost discreet so you can see that uh, the gate and the fence are there but uh, not very prominent.
before I finish off, I'll just just try to clean up that uh, background. It's not like it's really straight. I'll use some masking tape and like try to get a clean edge there. And I hope that you enjoy this demo. Please do give it a go and see how it turns out. And please do subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future and uh, leave any feedback and comments in the comments below. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in another video. Thank you.